welcome to another exciting episode of Video Game Bang. Video Game Bang. Your weekly source for all things video game. Featuring your fearless hosts, Corey Vincent. I'm pretty much uh, Microsoft and Marvel. The cans are on. The finish gets real. You get look. shot during the day. And Aaron Carter. By the armor, I equip it, and it's like pink thong. The guy that delivers vending machine items in my in my job. He can play <laughs> the right the rhino. Fill up your Mountain Dew and grab your Doritos. It's time for Video Game Bang. What is up, pizzas? Welcome back to another episode of Video Game Bang. <laughs> we just jump right into it. We just jump right into it. Well, they don't know. Griffin oh, Dog. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I was that's wondering right, what that, I am here. I was wondering what that sound clip was, too. <laughs> Why are you staring that. at the screen? Because you I like got a to, show to work on. I like to know what's coming up. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like to know what's coming up. Welcome, pizzas, to another episode of Video Game Bang, where we talk about video games, entertainment, and technology. Don't forget banging. Uh, well, we don't. That's not what the show is? We don't talk about Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we have an exciting episode because it's almost Christmas time. It doesn't even feel like it. Not, Not yet. Well, there's like nobody with Christmas lights on my street. Well, are they? Do they usually do it though? Yeah. Oh, well, maybe they just not, they're not in the mood yet. I actually just got the Christmas decorations out of the attic today. See, there you go. You have an there, attic? Yeah, <laughs> we okay. do. I mean, there was one cool one I saw on the way here that had, like, the icicles going down. That was really cool. Yeah. That was that was probably the one of the coolest ones I've seen this year I so far. I haven't seen any cool. There's a, up the street, don't mm-hmm. they usually have, like, a whole block that is just, like, legendary for doing their... There's uh, some really good houses right there on Truxel. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, on Truxel. Yeah. If you yeah. live in the Sacramento area, check out Truxel. <laughs> I used to go to Rockland. Oh, well, the, 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 the rich people. Hey, <laughs> hey, man. That's why. Hey. You know it. So if you've been paying attention to NerdReactor.com, uh, you will see some uh, video game... Re- oh, and, oh, I'm losing it today. Uh, Aaron. Aaron Carter, my co-host. Yeah, yeah. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Yeah, how you doing? And you heard his voice earlier. I'm, unfortunately, Stephen Gutierrez is not with us, but... Uh, you know what? Hold on. I'm sorry. Before you go any further, every time that you say somebody is not with us, you make it sound like they just died. <laughs> <and> then, <laughs> they're not in this room right now. They're they're Stephen just texted me. He passed. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> yeah, exactly. They're not in this room. They're dead to me. Uh, he is my childhood best friend and comic book connoisseur. Uh, you can check out some reviews he's written on NerdReactor.com. His name is David Ng. Hello, everybody. You waiting for a response? Mm-hmm. I was going to say, if, if, he's the, if he's the connoisseur, because I know David does know uh, a thing or two about comic books. I would say he, he has the, would you say he's the, the reigning champion of comic books? Yeah. All right. We'll save that for Out later. of this room? Yeah. I guess. Oh, oh yeah. whoa. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think we need to go toe-to-toe then. That's Aaron, a crown I think that I need. you think you can go toe-to-toe with David in comic in books? In comic books? Oh, yeah. Okay, let's go. We'll, trouble, we'll set it up. Sir. We'll All set right. it up. He, see, he goes on one little win streak oh, in our yeah. game. Because, which we're going to play a little finish bit Finish it up. Finish it up. <laughs> and he is the master of disaster, big time, Mark Griffin. How's it going, everybody? You have a crown of something? Because um, I'm, I'm into taking crowns. Yeah. Yeah, what are you good at so Aaron can say that, <laughs> that he's better? Well, well, uh, well, you'll be seeing that crown I'll be wearing this weekend on the weekend show. What? Oh, oh yeah. Well, first of all, yeah. we just yeah. planned it out, everybody. I think, I think this we've weekend. been there, haven't we? I think that was a demo I'm version. We're going to have demo a version. rematch. Hey. I just got a capture card, so there's oh, chances yeah, are we'll have some footage. Came in? Good, good. Yep. So we're going to have... It's going to be uh, streamed. The rematch of Princess Peach and who, who do you pick? Oh, it was Roy? You, Listen, Ike. Not, Ike. 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 Have they leveled him on oh, this? I don't know about that. I don't know if they, what they did in that version. Okay. Well, well, if anything, we'll run it back in just a regular version, and then okay. and then we can do the... I'm always down to taking crowns, people. We're playing in a modded version? <laughs> yeah, it's the new... Um, mm, let's keep the illegalness. <laughs> it's oh, a, wow. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, a t- it's perfectly legal. It's, Is it really? It's, it's perfectly legal, oh, yeah, because okay. it's, ma- it's just made by the community. Um, it's not being sold or anything like that. It's not that, being right? sold. That's it's well, not yeah. making any profit. Um, I guess I should just go ahead and announce what it is since we're talking about it, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so we're going to be doing Smash Brothers Brawl, um, but we're also going to be doing the the new um, Project M. I think it's the third version, if I remember correctly now, is what it's coming out, is what they just released it a couple days ago. So um, I'll have that all set up and ready for us for this Saturday's show. I'm excited. Are you excited? My GERDs are... Is that how? What is GERDs? I've girded my loins. There we go. That That's, it doesn't sound. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> doesn't so sound I'm, kosher. What in the world? 
Aaron. We got uh, a lot of uh, stuff we need to plug out there, right? Yeah, we got a lot of stuff. Go ahead. You start. Okay. Uh, Nerd Reactor, as you guys all know, is our father company website. Is that what, is that good yeah, to say? No, yeah, parent. Yeah. All right, parent company. On there, we have a couple of things uh, posted. Go check out my personal review of Doctor Who Legacy for your iPhone or your Android or tablet, whatever you want to put it on. What have you. It's pretty good. Go check it out. Uh, David Ng over here has put up a preview. Is that what that is? Well, it's a kind of like a speculation of things that I want to see in the with the new announcement of X-Men Apocalypse. X-Men Apocalypse. Now, I haven't personally read this. I apologize. Aaron had actually a pretty Aaron-like theory, and yes. I had to kind of see where he was coming from. About, Go ahead. about Go ahead. Uh, Apocalypse? Talk, uh, and Fox. Oh, yeah, because Fox just, to me, ruins the X-Men series. Uh, and I said they're probably going to do some weird story change where it's like uh, Apocalypse is Xavier's dad or something like that and throw that in there. Yeah, you know, I think that wouldn't be too far beyond them. See. I'm really hoping that they won't do something like that. And I was surprised. Hold on, sorry to cut you off. Mm-hmm. I was surprised from the person that wrote this article is not really excited to see this movie. Well, um, no, that was the Days of Future Past you were talking about. It's all the same thing. Well, I just, I don't like the idea of Days of Future Past because it's confusing when you do alternate timelines. Um, so I'm hoping that they won't do that in Apocalypse. Mm. And then they'll just do like a present day Apocalypse trying to rise and gain power. You checking this one out, Mark? I probably will. I'll probably give it a shot. Why uh, not? See, I, and I, it's, it's people I, like you guys. <laughs> oh, Lord. That keep them in business. <laughs> I'm not, I didn't say I was going to go to the theater and see it. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I'll All watch right. it, but I'm All not right. going to pay for it. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. That, that's I'm too. You, you wrote another article, didn't you? Did, didn't you write on Days of Future Past? No, I did not write one. Did, on that. did they say who's directing? Yeah. Which, apparently, what you're playing uh, is directing. What you playing? <laughs> what you playing? What you playing? And as everybody knows, this is our theme song what you playing? for What You're Playing, brought to you by Kyle McGuire. He sounds like a baseball player. Kyle McGuire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mark McGuire. That's, that's why. why. Maybe. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, people. Let's uh, round table. Mark, what you playing? Um, actually, you've been putting some time into Forza 5. I'm not a big racing fan. Um, I, I like what I've played so far, but I've been talking to a couple of my other friends that are big into racing, and it sounds like it's kind of a letdown to them. There's no day and night cycle. Um, mm. and, Open world? Um, no, it's just track to track. You know, you pick your track. Um, there's only, I think, he, my buddy was telling me there's only like 200 cars in the game. So if it's not like, open world, why would there need to be a day and night cycle? Well, it's just because you. Well, I mean, you can't race at night. It's all day races. Oh, you can't race at night at all. That's what what I was. That's at least how my buddy was explaining to me because he's been Mm. playing it more than me. And he says it's just it's just day races. He said something like basically the Xbox One can't handle it or something like that. I was like, which I was like, I don't know. (laughs) Speculation. (laughs) Speculation. So withdrawn. Wow. (laughs) But yeah, it just you know just from what everything he was saying, that's all that's in it is kind of a kind of a. It sounds like it's going to be not as good as Forza Four. It's yeah, or just as good, but I mean, we we've said multiple times in the past that long. racing games have uh, peaked. Yeah, yeah. So, Gondo, put you on the spot. What you playing? Uh, last thing I was playing was Gears of War One, and that's only because it was the free game on and Xbox. Why no uh, invite, sir? Well, I haven't seen you online when I. Oh do my play. gosh! Well, that is true. I actually been yeah. offline for the long. <laughs> yeah. That's it, though. Nothing else. Um, I play Puzzle Quest on my phone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I that's, mean, that's that's fair. Game. Yeah. I mean, the only reason I play that one though is because it's themed off of Marvel. There's a Marvel themed one. There is. Oh, I might have to Where? go pick. Is that free? Android. Yeah, it's free. Oh yeah, it's done deal. Android, iOS. Android, iOS. I think both. Yeah. Yeah, it's a done deal. Not on mm-hmm. Windows Phone. Corey Nothing Matthews. Nothing for the Windows Phone. What you playing? I have been playing NBA 2K14. I just made it. Uh, my rookie it was in the rookie showcase. Wow! Uh, he won. You're very proud of that. He won one. player of the game. <laughs> uh, got that sponsorship with Champs. You can get sponsors in this game. Yeah, you get sponsors. That's crazy. Do they make shoes uh, eventually? Yeah, you can make your own shoes. No way. Yeah. What am I not playing this game for? It's really good. Uh, other than online, I love the game. It's really good. It's held my interest. Why is the online? Is the online still laggy? Yeah. Is that... uh, I, I have just haven't had a good online experience. You've been yet. losing. Yeah. So <laughs> oh, that's not. <laughs> a well, no, 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 no. But but I don't know. Like the game, the gameplay does lag a bit. Like when I hit the block button, he waits a hot minute before he actually jumps up and swipes. Uh-huh. Uh And I was just thinking about it today too. Like I really like the story mode, but. It's starting to get really repetitive now. Is it? There's and through career mode, there's no option to skip games. 
Really? You can't you can't you just really simulate can't games? I have yeah. to play all freaking every single game of the season. Yeah. And I've been traded around the league because I kept getting upset with the teams I was on. Do you request a trade? Yeah, I, yeah. you go and meet with your GM, and I requested my trade. And so they went from Milwaukee Bucks, which was like a playoff contention team, but I thought I was like hot stuff. I was like, yeah, I'll go to get to a better team. <laughs> and then they traded me to like Portland. And oh, then wow. like my first GM meeting, I was like, get me out of Portland. Wow. Because, <laughs> I don't know, the players were cool, but Portland. You don't get to pick like an agent that shops around for I, you. You have your agent who is like your childhood friend, you know. And oh, so they really went story type of. Okay. Yeah, right, yeah, that's enough. So that. then uh, now I'm on <laughs> Dallas Mavericks, uh, working for Mark Cuban, and I'm like the worst team in the West. Oh, that's sad. Yeah. Speaking of worst teams in the West, anybody see that late the uh, Kings and Jazz game? Pretty bad. You can mm. get the hell out. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just saying. I'm just Lakers saying. Fan yes, I am a Lakers fan. I think they're they're rebuilding, right? They're they're trying to the find Kings their are, groove yeah. now. They, they got some good trades. They, they just did traded. Some... They got Rudy Gay. Yep. He's playing tomorrow. Oh, he didn't play the last game. No, he no. didn't. They didn't oh, play okay. any of the new players. Oh, okay, so then because uh, Gravis Vasquez needed yeah. had visa issues. Okay, I don't even. Whatever. That's yeah. terrible. Um, <laughs> sports fans, what if, we just lost all the gamer nerds. <laughs> what if, <laughs> too much sports. I, well, let's bring them back. I, I've been. I forgot my what's the plan. What have I been playing? Oh, I've been playing The Walking Dead. That's what I forgot. There you go. Game of the year twenty uh, twelve. Mm. Um, I like the concept that everything that I do has an effect. On Are you playing beyond chapter one? I'm only on chapter one right now. Oh, okay. I just started this game. Still fresh and new. But I'm kind of feeling like I wish the concept of me being able to to uh, affect everything was mixed with some more type of action. And that's what Fables, their new one. It's a lot that's, more action in okay. Fables. Okay, so then uh, hopefully, you know, I'll get more into it as we go on, but, you know. And you'll start to see it'll pick up once check once you get like about halfway through chapter three. One and two, one is one is good. Two is slow. Hmm. Three, four, and five are amazing though. Okay, all right. Telltale's got a full plate. Faith in Telltale's, yeah. They got a full plate. Yeah, yeah. and they're I'm liking it. They're they're good so far. <laughs> and I'm not familiar with the Walking Dead TV show as much as you know everybody else probably is here. Well, this is all comic. This is all based on the comic. Oh, okay. Actually, oh, right. it's is not it even, even based on the comic? It's, um, it's, it's, it's not independent story. It's kind of got it's. It is. It takes place before the comic. I should say. So if I remember. Right. Is it like how the separation from the comic and the TV show? Like some people could die that are normally characters. Well, like um, you'll run into Glenn. I've already ran into him. You ran him. into Glenn, so I, yeah. you've seen him. He's in the TV show. Yeah. But oh, you see I, I, him. See, I've been lied to. I, I just told there was no crossover. No, yeah. Glenn is there. Glenn is there. He's Because I just, uh, you meet Herschel first. Mm-hmm. Yep, and you meet and, Herschel. And so they're at the farm already? I went to the farm, and this is spoiler alert. Okay, wait, you, guys, you went to the farm before Rick and all that? I or? went to the farm. Wait, yeah. that's the first place you, like, it the takes place, first I official I want to say it's like six to eight months before the TV show Herschel starts. didn't look like the Herschel now. He wasn't fat. He was kind of a slimmer, you know, or maybe that's just how he looks in the comic book. But yeah. it, uh, you know, where's Carl? He went. I went there, and you, I've been working on that one. I I talked to, <laughs> <laughs> I talked to to Herschel, and I lied to him. Told him I was the kid's babysitter, and mm-hmm. he kind of read through it a little. But she kind of co-signed. It was like, yeah, and I was like, cool, you know, because I I've been like I said, I've been cool with her. But the only thing I was worried about, or I was wondering, is his son dies. I didn't save his son. And I'm like, is mm. his son in the TV show or? What, what do you remember his name? Sean. I don't think so. I don't think. I don't know what his name is. I don't remember. It's been a while. You know why? Because he died, it. and I didn't care. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was between uh, like a ten year old boy or you know this grown man, and I had to go for the little boy. Why? Because oh, gross. the way you said that. The future. <laughs> you know, he's okay. he's, he's <laughs> the other guy has lived. You know. Yeah, but the kid has less of a chance to survive. Truthfully, I thought I could save them both. Yeah, that's they kind of put you in that. They place put you in that place, place where it's like, okay, let me quickly save this guy, and I'm punching the zombie in the face and trying to grab the boy away from him, mm-hmm. and then the other guy is just stuck under the tractor. So I was like, I'll punch the guy, uh, punch the zombie, uh, move the boy off the tractor, roll the tractor back, and I'm good. But no. They wow. ate the crap out of that. <laughs> <laughs> and that's my Walking Dead experience so far. But right. yeah, it's good. Um, what else we got you here? You got me excited for that one. Oh, yeah, man. As yeah, soon as you up, can, play it. Play it. That's Aaron's uh, seal of approval right there, everybody. 
Now, guys, we've been doing, uh, we've moved to a two episode a week format, if you haven't noticed. So be sure to check us out on the weekends where basically we just get all together, bro it up for a little while, play some video games, and come up and uh, give our opinions. It's sort of like a um, water cooler chat. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, usually it happens extremely late, uh, no breaks, no nothing, no nonsense. And that's what, yeah, that's what kind of threw me off. Yeah. Right? That's why I kept asking what time was like, are we going to take a break right here or no? No breaks? Okay. <laughs> We're good. We're just We're gonna good. keep rolling on. I wasn't even looking. The union yeah. doesn't mandate those on the weekends. Hey, clearly. Yeah. <laughs> clearly. We got some news going on today, though, people. Some very uh, exciting news. Uh, let's see. I'd say, I'd say so. So Yeah, just going through these, I would say. In definitely. the light of what happened with that website, uh, troll for website, Fallout. Troll. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That phony site that popped up uh-huh. it really got my hopes down. I read a side article saying that they created that website to kind of force Bethesda's hand. To oh, say, you think so? Yeah. Uh, so you think the think new? Okay, nice. so go, go ahead, read yeah. the story. All right, so the story that we're all alluding to, if I can find it here on the page. Oh, yeah. Okay. Report casting calls and scripts confirms Fallout Four in a Boston setting. So uh, Kotaku, uh, the arch nemesis of Corey, uh, (laughs) they went on uh, and reported first that they had somebody who apparently applied and interviewed or I guess uh, auditioned. That's the word I was looking for. Good Lord. Auditioned to be in the next Fallout 4. And they came back and did a whole bunch of spoilers. Yeah, I saw they actually like tweeted or took a picture of the script. Did they really? I didn't yeah. even see that. Yeah, there's yeah. A, yeah, the whole chunk of the script right there. Oh, no. Yeah. The whole oh, opening oh, intro. No. It doesn't, it doesn't have like changes. anything specific to Fallout or Bethesda. Or Does it have like Ron that. Perlman? Uh, no, it, it's actually <laughs> they're saying that it's narrated by the character's voice now instead of Ron Perlman. <laughs> I'd rather Shao Kahn do that. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's what they're Shao saying. Khan. They're saying it was narrated by the... Uh, by the character's voice. But what do we think of this? Do we, do we take away anything uh, positive? Um, or it, is it just too early to it's, even... I mean, the setting doesn't matter to me that much. Yeah, really? where, did, where did the first one take place? Liberty Washington, City? Washington, D.C. D.C. Oh, yeah, that's right, because yeah. we yeah. went Washington, to the monuments. Yeah. Yeah. As long as there's cool monuments... What's cool like, in Boston besides the, the beans? The tea party. And tea party. They didn't have a boat. Oh. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, not to offend any Bostonians, but... Boston. I don't know what's cool. The uh, the Red Sox is that? That's, that's where they that's filmed awesome. the like Batman, right? How dare you! Uh, <laughs> is <it gonna laughs> wow, be- wow! This is our super. This is our uh, superhero kind of. Uh, there's a tea party. Comic D- comic is it going to be in the same <laughs> time frame? It has to be. Going to be like uh-huh. in the oh, 30s yeah, it has to be. I that? mean, there's there's not too much information that was out. Like I said, they can only she was or he or she was only auditioning for a voiceover role. Which I can only assume didn't get it. Got pissed. Yeah, so I was reading gonna, everything. <laughs> yeah, I, was say, okay. I, was, I can only assume they did not get. But it was the female version of the main character. That's what they were Ooh. going for. So of course you're going to be able to choose male or female, like you always, you know, have been before. In the voice of the character, though, that in the past that's the new. character hasn't. It's me. Yeah, at all. yeah. So that'll be interesting. Oh, there's yeah. a little tidbit yeah. right there, people. Yeah. So that'll be cool. Were they maybe, going like Mass Effect style? Well, maybe yeah. it wasn't um, a voice type of thing. Maybe it was just grunts from getting hit or taking damage. <laughs> her grunts weren't good enough to land her yeah. the job. What? She's a bad no, grunter. Didn't she just say that the narrator was going to be the character's voice, though? Yeah, yeah. that's what. Yeah. yeah. Well, that was from reading from the script. I didn't see that picture of that script. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, I, yeah, I it was no a. Idea. Well, it didn't say specifically that that was it, but it, it kind of alludes to that the. That's cool, that then. Is, so. That's cool. What are we looking for from the next uh, Fallout? Hmm. Any return uh, characters? Man. Fox? Fox fans anywhere? Uh, exactly. Uh, <laughs> what was other lines? Did you play all the way through it, Gondo? Uh, Fallout 3, yeah. Oh, okay. Come I on. didn't play Vegas. I don't know who played it. Oh, you I, never, see. I never finished it. You never you finished finish I've it? Got a, I've got 150 hours, I'm and I'm still scouring. Right now. Hey, I Get walk done. everywhere. I walk That's everywhere. That's cool. I walked everywhere the first time, too. And, and I, still, I do every I've got, side quest. I've done every side Have you looked in my gamer score no, on that? I know. I know. All right, I know. You've got a little bit more than I think the only one. thing I'm missing, though, are from the DLCs. Mm. I think I, those those are the ones I would just kind of focus on like going through. But I, I know a 1,000, the main one. No, I didn't. No, because you didn't. No, I you didn't. didn't go through. A I neutral. didn't do the neutral. That's right. Mm-hmm. I just remembered those. No, I I, I know because I used to check our gamer scores against each other. For but I still have the games. game, so I can go. Wow, back and competitive much? I am. I'm very competitive. Jeez. Oh, I've got the highest gamer score in the room. He does. Hundred K. He does. Take that crown, Aaron. 
looking for crowns to steal? Yeah. First of all, uh, yeah. I don't play Avatar. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> Done. That is that is one thousand out of a hundred thousand. And what button did you have to percent. press the whole time? Just um, A the right button. It's actually thing? X. Oh, excuse me. And I yeah. played it further than the demo, like most people. Oh, okay. I gave it through the first level. Exactly. And I'm not even an Avatar fan, so exactly. I give it. I give it the old college try. So final judgment. Too uh, excited or not excited enough to do uh, Fallout? I, yet? I'm still Too trying soon? to wrap my mind around uh, Elder Scrolls Online. I'm. So hyped for that! I don't really you care, don't about care about anything that? else. Bethesda's working on. Oh right my now. gosh! Just You're give me Elder Scrolls Online. Gondo, <laughs> too too soon to be excited. Uh, I'd say so. Yes, Bar- I, mean, it's, I need it's to see a lot more because, like I said, I haven't even finished three, which means I haven't touched Vegas. So I'm um, I'm three I'm three Fallout's behind. <laughs> that's <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's the sound for the next story. Since you were already talking about Elder Scrolls, let's go with that. Boom! One. Elder Scrolls Online launch date April fourth. People for the PC Mac. And uh, June for the next gen consoles. Why are we waiting? I don't know. All the PC people are gonna work out the bugs for us. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, right. That's exactly. <laughs> They're the beta testers. Come on now. Now Why can't we get a day in, day in? We have a friend, a confidant, who's on the beta. Yes, we do. And the, he's, he's on the beta ray bill. He shared some information as much as he could. He couldn't put up video, of course, because the yeah. non disclaimer or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, good stuff it looks like Elder Scrolls but he's been playing other stuff which tells me like what's oh, wrong with it betas aren't really I guess to hook you right well, I don't know well I, for me like I can only play beta for so long I like because I you can only get you know they cap you at different points for uh-huh. different things so like I did the the new Final Fantasy beta I played the crap out of that for about four or five days straight like that was just non-stop Final Fantasy 14 beta but I hit the cap in the beta and that was there's pretty much nothing else to do at that point. You know? So maybe he just hit so, the ceiling. So I doubt it. I don't think I don't think he I don't know. Come on, he, doesn't seem, like, he doesn't seem like the type. He's going to be hopping oh, around. Wow, yeah. Nice. Well, <laughs> just come on. Jerry, this, you yeah. listen to this. Throw Fuck him you. Under the bus. Well, I just I just I just <laughs> I just, you know, looking at, you know, his gamer history and stuff like that. We see him bounce around a lot. Well, so he just I think, start streaming uh, something on the PS4 the other day. Call of Duty. Call of Duty. Yeah, call, that was just, hmm. Fatality. Exactly. Nah. That's exactly what that was. So. Sorry. Sorry, Call of Duty. Wow. <laughs> you uh, have to go home, but you can't stay here. So, of course, like they you know, always announce, they're not going to take the uh, the same trend as all the other MMOs that seem to be doing and make it free. It's going to be 15 a month. And we're still uh, on the fence on that one, Corey, or are we going to go and pay it? If you guys are all in, I have no real excuses because you guys are all... Poor. Well, hey, next week we're all about to start doing crack. You want to? <laughs> you want to join in on that too? Sign me up for Good some crack. Lord. I would love some crack cocaine. You should be. <laughs> 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 you should definitely play this one for fifteen. What about you, Gondo? Are you? Uh... Um, I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll hinge my decision on Gondos. I feel hmm. like the advantage of not doing free to play is that there aren't the uh, microtransactions. Okay. And it's less of the um, play to win. So wait, do you like microtransactions? I use them to my advantage because I don't buy them and I get to take advantage of a free game. Ah, okay. But then like when it comes to PvP type things, like I usually am at a disadvantage because I haven't paid for anything. Happy Wars. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Okay, we can keep using that as our beat up doll, Happy Wars. I told you guys challenges and you guys can get the same amount of tickets that a paid I don't know the game get. burned me enough and it didn't seem like worth the trouble to get back into well, did you play happy wars Mark? I did and there was I played it for when it was the very first couple of weeks it mm-hmm. came out it was pointless to play because fat princess had already came out and did that yeah. for the last like two years on my playstation I was gonna say yeah with, you were like, on the PS3 with like so. 10 classes versus what the three in happy wars yeah. well they've moved it up to six now oh, oh. oh. so they're only two years still behind how dare you <laughs> <laughs> you were just having so much fun and freedom <laughs> with, with that soundboard now. He's like, I can just sit back and just puppeteer the whole thing, can't I? That is horrible. But um, I think Mark even said this on the last uh, show. They're going to have a 30-day 30, uh, 30 free day pass whenever you start it. Yeah. So uh, you can at least start. You, you pay know, $60 Mark. to get $30 or to get 30 days out of your game. Yeah. You pay so you're, $60 you're, to get what? Uh, unless they let you download... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I want out of it. See, I if if you guys are on it, I will get on it. You know what? Uh, Peer you know, pressure. 
Aaron, you want to get back on Final Fantasy Eleven? I it's will free. never. It's free. Is this, it free? It's free uh, for this uh, this coming month of December. No, that's not it's even free. enough. It's it needs free. to be free forever. They're, they're doing a like a eleventh anniversary welcome back like Christmas type no, thing. And, I even, and it like they've 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 fixed a lot of the things. Wait like, a minute, welcome more. back? What do yeah. you mean welcome back? For like back? people whose uh, whose accounts have been deactivated or whatnot, you can come back into oh, the game now and reactivate so your account free of charge and get all your stuff back. Um, that smells right. like. Like desperation, right there. That's well, bad. I mean, they're already does. they're already running well, a court case of yeah. desperation. <laughs> <laughs> they're already running fourteen, which is doing well. And is then, that free to play? No. Oh, so no. yeah. And then you know, eleven still has a lot of subscribers. It does. It has a ton of subscribers it still. They can't knock that. Um, and so, um, which I'm called. This is just a way to kind of re- breathe new life into it. And they've put a, they've taken a lot of features from fourteen and put it back into eleven. Now, so you can warp between the home points. Now you can they increase movement speed on the map by like twenty five percent. Whoa! Yeah. Hey, that's it, that helps when you're running away from like sixteen goblins chasing you through the field. I can just run faster now. You. It uh, helps. What is this? Let me get the consistency of this before we move forward. Yeah, I totally killed that word consensus. Consensus. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, how excited are we? Are are we even looking forward to in more MMOs on the next gens, or are we just don't care? I honestly don't care about MMOs. I just see it getting expensive. I think I don't know. My problem with MMOs is this group that we play with. Uh-huh. We tend to swap games after like two months, and that's not really what you want to do in an MMO. True. But, what if they were all free though? If they're free, I mean if they're all free. Hell yeah! But, but yeah, nothing's free. Well, I'm the talking about like um, Obama. Oh my god! You know when he shows through your door <laughs> with assassins, and he's like, "He's the guy that took out the Somalian pirates." <laughs> I'm talking about like defiance free. You have to pay oh. that first sixty, and then it's yeah. free. I wish, I wish Elder Scrolls would do that, but I understand they gotta, you know, they gotta, oh, yeah, they gotta make that money. And first. see, the thing is with um, MMOs is they're actually the cheaper way to play games if you're only playing that MMO though. That is that's you know? true. true. Depends on what how many games you play. The, well, the like, argument only saying. goes because usually uh, my gaming budget has gotten has increased with the new next gen and with the podcast and everything. But uh, you know, back in the day, I was only getting a game every three or four months. You know, so the, the, I'm fifth, on that road right now. <laughs> and and even when I did, it was used, and I was abusing all my friends' discounts. Like I'd go in there and yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's like that. That's, that's about right. I think everybody's. Uh, I don't know about well. Everybody that I've known so far it seems like their wallet is a little bit bigger uh, for this next gen. I mean, it's already sold. We might as well go on to the next yeah, one. We might segue. as well segue right on in. Microsoft Xbox One. Xbox One reaches two million units sold. Two million. Meanwhile, PlayStation just broke like the console world record. Did it really? Yeah, there's been stories all today and a little bit yesterday saying that the PS4 is the most successful console launch in history. So it had to have beaten this Microsoft's two million in eighteen days. Yeah. Oh yeah, for Must sure. Have, yeah. Well, because it had wow. two million the uh, what two weeks ago when we did a report, they broke two million. Oh yeah, the yeah. Sony. Yeah. Yeah, they broke two million at that point. So. I, I saw somewhere where they were, where they projected these two consoles to outsell like the PS2. Like they're going to mm-hmm. sell more than any other ones, both of them. Who's winning this race, people? It's going to be many, many, many years before we know that. It's the PC. You don't see any? Uh, okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so that, is that your hat in for PlayStation? Uh, at this point, they're in the lead. Uh, but like I said, it's it's really going to come down to those when those exclusives start dropping. And we don't see one yet? First exclusives next year. You've Titanfall. got Titanfall in March, which is Xbox. Mm-hmm. And then PlayStation in April, you have Infamous. Oh, yeah. Which is going to be huge. That's my big PS4 title. Really? I cannot Second wait. Sense. Really? I love, Infamous? Dude, I love the first two Infamous. I platinum both of those suckers. Like, uh, like I played through each of those games twice. Prototype better. Oh, what? Wow. Prototype. Oh. Go ahead. Play your little sound effect. Defend, I'm waiting. Defend <laughs> your <laughs> yes, game, defend, sir. Please defend Prototype. Uh, prototype was awesome. What do you mean? Okay, what, what, what like about it? It's like Venom the video game. All right, this is what we do. You have <laughs> you have two open world games, two open world superhero yep. games. Uh where you both have amazing powers, free run, free roaming, just mm-hmm. free roaming. Both of them, both of them are sandbox. What makes them different? Let's go. Let's one go. guy you get Hold electricity, on and on one Mark. guy you get a symbiote. Hold on, Mark, because he he's the one that yeah. that that yeah. jumped it off. So, Corey, okay. what have you played? First of all, have you even played Infamous? I played like the demo in the store for five minutes. Okay, 
<laughs> I've played both. And and did you play all the way through for? Yes, me and David actually played through that one together. Yeah, we did. Prototype okay. one. All right, so prototype. What do you think is? Wait, wait, wait. When you guys say play through it together, did you guys like hand off the controller every like hour? Is that think, what yeah, we did? traded lives. Yeah. Okay, so that makes sense. That's old school. I, that's how I could totally play prototype. If I had somebody else to hand the wow. controller off to, I could totally play it that what, way. What may, what puts it in the lead then, Corey? Uh, I just thought it was. It's they're the same, honestly. I, I say one was better because that's what was available to me. But mm. I, I, it was. I, I can't see Infamous being that much better. Okay, Mark. All right, so Rebuttal. they launched same day. They were both same day. But yep. That's place, right. But I think it was the same yeah. day. It was launched in May of 2011. I'll have to check that. But anyways, uh, Infamous one against Prototype one. Same day launch. Infamous only PlayStation. PlayStation exclusive. Prototype launched on both. Now, right there off the bat, Infamous already gets more of a nod for me because it's got it's developed for the PlayStation versus Prototype is developed for both. True. So it's get it's going to get more love and attention right there to the detail. Um, big thing for me, Infamous had a much more entertaining story, um, much more likable character. I did not care about the prototype character. They um, also did the whole thing where they throw you in the beginning of prototype and you have all the powers and they take them all away. I hate that. Mm-hmm. I hate I hate getting a taste of everything right at the beginning. Like it's it's cool, but it's a precursor to what yeah. you're going to be having the most fun with. I understand, but like it's it just it's just chaos. I guess their whole thing is they want to make you feel like you're getting and, back up to and that. The, and the thing know? is with Prototype is the whole game, it feels like chaos the whole time you're playing it. There's not any like wow. real direction. <laughs> it's cool. I'll talk through it. Talk over it. Uh, whereas Infamous, it has a real buildup. It really has a... You, you build these connections between your characters. There's choice that matters. It changes your... Okay. Um, how that's, the game that's, that's we, we didn't get that in Prototype. That yeah. right there alone, I think, wins it. Um, your powers change depending on who, how you play. So if you go good, your electricity is blue if you go evil your electricity is red Ooh. and, really do anything and it does because okay. your powers actually evolve differently so yeah, one of your early cool. grenades one of your early powers is an electrical grenade if you go evil it turns into a sticky grenade and if you upgrade it far enough it will bind the enemy onto the ground so you to capture them without killing them whereas if you go evil it turns into a cluster grenade and explodes like up there to like eight is. to 16 times it's dynamic and that's for there. every single almost every single power in the game has that differential ability depending on if you go good or dark so. You just about sold me. Yeah, so this is going to be a PlayStation <laughs> exclusive, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> um, no, I mean, I have, I have Titanfall. Yeah. So. I mean, Titanfall wow. is going to be it's going to be Call of Duty with mechs. Well, we'll see when it comes out. I don't know. I'm, I, 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 the, what else do we have though, as far as uh, exclusive? Exclusives, right? At this point, for what system are we talking um, now? Either one. I don't care. That is um, besides the Wii U. Are we cool. talking about concrete stuff, or we know that just it's concrete, always concrete, not out. arcade games either. No, no, I'm talking about because like concrete Halo announced. You're talking yeah, about yeah, because Halo yeah, is going to yeah. be out, mm-hmm. but there's no announcement. Is there even a year anything? on Halo? No, no, no. We're 2016. Probably- that's what we're looking at. Yeah. 2015. Oh my gosh, lucky. Mark, your rant sent us two minutes over. <laughs> yeah. That's Damn right. it. Well, then, That's right. uh, why we can't have nice things. Okay. So we'll take a quick commercial break. Yeah, well, a quick know, commercial we'll break. Pay some bills. Is that what they call pay it? Pay some bills. And then we're going to come back with the trivia game where I think I found a way to get Aaron a loss. Terrible. Yeah, yeah. We'll have all that and more when we return on Video Game Bang. Welcome back to Video Game Bang, where we talk about video games, and we have a thriller of a game for you. Uh, if you guys have been tracking the show, Aaron has been on this amazing... 6-0, und- everybody. Yeah, I was wow. going to say, I didn't even count, but <laughs> he's undefeated in six, and we keep trying to come up with ways to... I keep trying to come up with ways to thwart this... Uh, By now, I think I should have like a theme song, like Bill Goldberg know, or something. <laughs> you know, I, I'm, I'm afraid for you, Aaron. I'm afraid because I'm afraid that once you lose once, you're just going to keep losing. You're going to go on no. this, this terrible streak. You, oh this my is gosh. all you've got. 
Once, Never once, that. once this win streak is I'm done, not, I'll, I'll be humble. I'm not. No, invincible. I know. Oh, no, Why I start know. now, Aaron? I'm not invincible. I know Why you start are. Now I know being you are. Humble? I'm just saying. I'm just thinking. I'm thinking. It's a. It's kind of a nah. precursor. Well, you you, you got two weeks going to the final tiebreaker question. Mm. Yeah. Unprecedented. On the line here, competing uh, listener, uh, friend. He has a YouTube channel, The Real David Webb, where he uh, he gets the birch box for man and he tries out all the products and lets you know what's good and what sucks his name is david webb hey everybody and uh so this is going to create some confusion we talked about it so now my friend here david ing is going to go by his gamer tag which we've been calling him the entire show anyways uh d.a gondo well his partial gamer tag i, I yeah. just call him we, gondo yeah you know, you should, we call really him gondo change it now. <laughs> change it to gondo no just change it keep, oh. keep the full thing there has to be some type of legend behind it yeah you know? it's actually really dia gondo but in the 18th century well do you know you know what's the real <laughs> i have no idea gamer tag is i know diego is spanish for david is that no. what that is that's what I went by in Spanish. Yeah, yeah, isn't it? I thought it was actually Spanish for David. I mean, you can say David in Spanish. I was about to say, <laughs> I have a friend named David Martinez. Oh. And well, I just got We don't call him Diego. Faced. Yeah. But uh, so he, he in Spanish, his name was Diego. And if Diego. you want to add like the action ing at the end of something, you put ando in Spanish. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So, so I conjugated my name. Yeah, he <laughs> so conjugated like his name. Action now, ing huh? is his last name, oh, so he's okay. in action. All right, that wasted He's still time. <laughs> We're going to jump <laughs> into the, <laughs> the game. Jeez. All right, everybody. So for the people who are listening for the first time, I will begin reading uh, the description to a video game. Uh, trivia question. Could be anything I feel like. Uh, the competitors here will buzz in using their name. So Aaron, test your buzzer. Aaron. Mark. Mark. David. David. Um, that was a test. <laughs> <laughs> uh, real uh. David Webb passed. No, I failed. Diego, so well, what Simon says. <laughs> Gondo. There we go. Does that, does that get me any points? Nope. Like right off the bat? Nope. Oh, in wow. fact, I just took one away. <laughs> okay. That's how the game is played, folks. But because I'm gracious, everyone's at zero. Yeah, I heard this was a little. Uh, I think I'm. New. Gonna, I think this. I think I got something that's going to throw you all for a loop. Uh oh. Here we go. Question number one. This 1987 beat 'em up game developed by Technos Japan. The player takes control of martial artist Billy Lee. Mark. Double Dragon. That Correct. would be, yeah. How is that throwing off? Double Dragons? They yeah. made like 70 different remakes. <laughs> All there's a amazing. TV show. Oh, there was that movie. movie. Yep. Like, Everybody you're done. Are you, are you there, David? <laughs> are you still there? I'm still here. Okay, just making sure you're a little quiet there. <laughs> <laughs> Rudolph, Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Cupid, Donner, and Blitzen. Which reindeer did I not name? Oh. Aaron? We'll talk about this. Prancer? I said Prancer. <laughs> oh, I didn't know. David, damn it. I'll Gondo. reread it after everybody guesses. Gondo Cupid? Nope. I'm really mad because this question was on the radio and I heard it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and I missed it. I can't really? remember now. Yeah, it was on the radio. Mark, dancer. Nope. It's it's only Webb's term now. Go ahead, David Webb. What do you got? Oh, oh, oh man, I'm going over the list in my head. Um, more like on Google. <laughs> 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 no, my keys are quiet. You can't hear them. Um, oh gosh. I'm gonna need a Keep name. It? Nope. So I'm gonna read them one more time. Rudolph, Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen. Cupid, Donner, Blitz, Mark. Oh shoot! I heard. No, Aaron. I'm gonna let Mark go. I Connor, pass. Connor, <laughs> Connor the reindeer. Are you so making up reindeer now? Why, why not? Connor the reindeer. Aaron. Connor. Aaron. Donner. No. Oh. Was that who you meant though before? Probably. <laughs> David, one more guess. Connor. <laughs> uh, Arnold. You guys are terrible at reindeer. Oh, I'm all sorry. Because all of the other reindeer. Exactly. No, David. Other David, real David. Oh man, um, Blizzard. I don't... Mark Blitzen. Now you guys are just saying. No, he said Blitzen. He I did say Blitzen. That. That's now it. you guys are just saying Dairy Queen. There you go. Drinks. <laughs> Frosty. 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 <laughs> yeah, the answer was Comet. Uh, Come on, guys. Really? I couldn't on tell you Connor, all eight of their names. Anyway. So yeah, right I, now, I can only Mark is in the lead. 1999 adventure video game for the Dreamcast, produced and directed by Aaron. Yu Suzuki. 
Shenmu. Yes. Damn it. Let's go. It, was a, it, wow! had, to, it had to be Sonic or <laughs> it had here. to be Sonic Shinmu or yeah, exactly NBA Two K. Exactly. Like, like a couple of them on there. I wrote an entire huge <laughs> description because I thought that was gonna be harder for you guys. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, one one. Are you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. All right. Feel free to jump in these. <laughs> 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 okay. This is question number four. In the 1964 Christmas classic, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, oh my God. Herbie the Elf no longer wanted to make toys, but instead pursued Mark, his... dentist. Yes! I knew yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I could one. see the yeah, stupid blonde elf in my head, but I couldn't <laughs> freaking remember what he wanted to do. Question number five. Hold on. Are you, I, I can pick a pattern here of what's going on. <laughs> let's, okay, let's go. 2005 tactical first-person shooter video game set in the Star Wars universe. This game is set during the events of the Clone Wars. David. Oh David. God. Battlefront. No. I, I know the name of this... 2005, you said? Yep. Darn it. I know the name of this. Player takes command of a clone commando team made up of elite clone troopers. These clone commandos have been specifically bred. Mark, Star Wars Bounty Hunter? No. No, no, no. no. Oh, Oh, so it's down to Real David and Aaron Carter. I know this game, too. I remember playing this game. I, I can't remember the name now. Because he, as soon as he said first person, I know mm-hmm. exactly what it is. Yep, I can see it in my head. It's on the original Xbox. Yeah. You said. Yep, I remember playing this one. Freaking wow! Is. Anybody? Floor is still open. I'm gonna have. I, to, have I'm you done gonna... read the whole thing? <gasps> yeah. I think I got it. I just gotta wait for them. I don't know. I'm the gonna name reopen of the floor. It, floor so is officially say... open. Oh, wait, wait, Aaron, you got a guess? Aaron. Uh huh. Um. Oh come on! Star Wars Elite. No, I don't know. But now you're just making crap up. <laughs> yeah, I, I know that. I've I know the, the exact. Floor is reopened. Mark. Mark. Uh, Republic Commando. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah that's there's what that commando it is. in there. Yes. Wow. So Mark is in the lead. Yeah. I knew the game though because yeah. I can see the HUD and everything in my freaking. Never played it. Yeah, I've never played it either. I just remember selling it. Oh no, I did play it. Dominique uh, ran at that or something. Yeah. This year, Carrie Underwood was cast as <laughs> Mark. Marina. Freaking wow. Sound of music. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's three for him. Four. Four? That's four oh. points. Oh. You've got to get all three of these to tie. That's okay. true, because one's off the board already. Yeah. Oh, this is tough. Oh, this is when this is gonna be the nail in Aaron's coffin. Twenty thirteen game takes place in the near future, where there's such technology as lunar t- tourism and cybernetic enhancements. The main character is an executioner named Mondo Zappa. Who receives Shit. a job from Mark. Brian Execution Firm for the win? Killer is dead. Yes. Ah, uh, I want to get that. Wow. Mark is one. <laughs> Mark just that one. Mark is took one the this crown. One. Oh yeah. my god! Easily gosh. too. Handedly. What? Those Christmas ones I wasn't getting. I want to. I want to put a shout out to my mom for uh, forcing me to watch all those Christmas things. Yeah, up. give up. Give it up. Uh, she give helped, it she up. Gave that one to me for wow. just to see that. The look of shame in your face right now. There's no look of so shame. Worth it. I wish the viewers. I wish this was a video podcast. Just I wish. I moment. wish these questions were nerd questions instead of just going over to video games. Yeah. Yeah, half of them were video games. Yeah. Okay, so you got the sound of music, the <laughs> dentist, the dentist, <laughs> the dentist, uh, and, and then, then the other three were video games. double dragon. Yeah. Hey, you have to double be ready dragon, for everything. Republic right. Commando, yeah. and. But we got we got little let's, consolation let's, let's questions. Let's jump through the last <laughs> questions yeah. just, just to salvage what's left of. All right, Actually, we'll if Mark steals the rest of these, you have no excuse. I have no excuse. From a race of untold knowledge and power, he has the power level of that of Galactus. Mark and possesses even shit. Galactus. Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> uh, power level of Galactus. We just went through a whole uh, bunch see, of. Uh, I know this one. Yeah. Iron Fist. No. Gondo. <laughs> Gondo. The Watcher. Yes. Wow. The and Watcher. Who's he? I was going to say the Thanos. Watu, the Watcher? The bald the big guy. big bald guy. Like a baby head. Promises to never interfere in the world. And then he always but he always does. Yeah. yeah. Always <laughs> doing something. Stupidest thing I've ever heard of. You I'm, won't catch this J.R.R. Tolkien character building any toys. This sharp shooting elf is a member of the Aaron. Fellowship. Oh, I'll give it to David. I bet you would. <laughs> I bet you would. Let him answer one. Legolas. Yeah. yeah I, had that one. <laughs> I had that one. And I had a bonus question. I'll let you guys hear. Um, uh, let's see. Wait, did I skip one? 
Yeah, tracks from this game include Frappe Snowland, Chaco Mountain. Mark. Super Mario 64. Yep. No, 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 no. Aaron. You're wrong. Mario Kart oh, 64. Shit. Yes. Right. Boom. Shit, you're right. Ooh. Face. Nice. That should have been earlier. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Could have built up some more suspense. Exactly. He is a being of immense power combined. Aaron. Galactus. <laughs> <laughs> he is the combined powers of Professor X and Magneto. Ah, oh, son of a Gundo. David. Mando. Onslaught. Onslaught. Yeah, that's the easiest one. You know, I watching know Aaron and his defeat was not quite as satisfying. Mm, as yeah, because you went weird off the board. That's what you With did. Christmas questions? We're still a whole, like, what, 17 days away from Christmas or something like We're that? We're inside of the 25 yeah, days of Christmas. Whatever. I think it's fair game. If yeah. we win next week, I can see a full themed one. Whatever. I can see. Yeah. Mark definitely took the took it. Kiss his hand. Never. <laughs> <laughs> Tweet it. Never. That. Tweet it. <laughs> Tweet the crown, the, the crown is not as heavy as it was last week. So the crown is lighter? <laughs> yeah. The wow. crown is gone. It's a, it's a TR. Wow. It's a TR. Well, then there you go. <laughs> well. <laughs> that's, that's that's one out of seven. I still say I'm winning. So uh, wow. coming for you, coming for you, you next to. week. Hey, you, yeah. If he, if he goes on a run, then I have no excuse. Wow. But so far, I'm like what? I'm six and one. Yeah, I'm still in the playoffs, sir. Wow, <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. I have to have a tournament of champions now, like Jeopardy. First, you need other champions. Well, we have one now. Oh, I'm sorry. One out of how many countless dead bodies that I've dropped? It David takes- Webb, I want to exactly. thank you so much for stopping <laughs> yeah. by the show and hanging out with us, trying it. You got one question, so I got one. Hey, you're we, still doing pretty good. We as gave far him as- one question. No, he earned <laughs> that one. It's no, all right. It was given. It was given. Oh, see, you can't thank you. admit thank that. Thank you for now being honorable. You know what? Because he's the real David Webb. That's right. That's right. <laughs> David <laughs> Webb, real. tell the us one. all where we could find your YouTube channel. Uh, YouTube.com slash the real David Webb. And tell us a little more about what you do. Um, lately, I've just been doing a lot of, like like you said, Birchbox, um, it's like men's grooming stuff. Um, it sounds kind of girly, but it's actually pretty cool. And, uh, but actually I'm going to start getting into more like tech stuff. So, um, I just got a windows phone, so I'm going to be reviewing that. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, Welcome to the population of two. I should say my condolences (laughs) to the loss of your old phone. It's weird. It's weird. It's, I've been that guy all the way and it's kind of like coming out of like a cult. I'm like, wait, that Kool-Aid tastes good. This feels weird. And then when you're dead, because... (laughs) If we all remember, they those that drunk the Kool Aid. I will put the Windows Phone though up against anybody's phone. My old now now I think two years old window fo- in Windows Phone. What in just straight up uh, productivity and speed? How about uh, in variations of apps. Uh, womp, womp, I will womp, womp, womp. The, the thing that people <laughs> use the ninety. However, most of the things that I need and use are already ingrained into the phone. Uh, that's, okay. Yeah, that's my point too. Like, I haven't noticed, besides the App Store, I haven't noticed a difference in being able to do one thing that I couldn't do with the iPhone and vice versa. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for showing up, David Webb. We will catch up with you later. And uh, any last words? No, thanks for having me, guys. Sorry I wasn't a uh, better competitor. Oh, you did well, my man. Take it easy. (laughs) Thanks, guys. As well as everybody else. (laughs) Sucker. Sucker, what? I don't know. I just wanted to say something about him. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he, uh, he, he did actually as well. Is that, came on. That's good enough. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's better than a lot of the calls in we got. What are we looking at time wise? Uh, we got about ten minutes, so we can cover the stories we didn't get to. Uh, what didn't we get to? Oh, we can gloss over that other the what you call it. I want to get on the to demos. this Robert Nepper. Does everybody know who Robert Nepper oh, is? Oh, yeah, besides that's uh, from Prison Break. Uh, T-Bag. T-Bag. Exactly. He's going to be casted in Arrow as the Clock Master. What is it? Clock King. Clock King. Yeah, if nobody knows who the Clock King is, don't feel bad. Hey, I know. <laughs> I know. No, don't feel bad. He's not a uh, a major person. But the fact that Robert Nepper, who is actually, I think, a, a good, very good yeah. actor, is something big. And I just literally caught up with the Arrow and hands down the best comic book TV show thus far. Anybody else watching it? Yeah. No, I'm, I just watched the uh, Flash introduction oh, today. Oh, yes. Oh, my so, gosh. Good. Yeah. You're not caught up, I guess, Gondo, right? No, I'm not watching that show. Wait, watch wait, wait. You're not? I haven't started it. Oh, okay. Netflix you haven't started it. it. So you will, though. 
Netflix I it. probably will at some point. Oh my gosh. You Netflix. need to be more high excited high by this because you're a Marvel fan, right? I am a Marvel fan. Okay. Netflix it. It's good. It's worth it. Okay. Oh yeah, you can Netflix it. That's what yeah. I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. Corey, where are you landing on this? Mm, I just can't get the energy. <laughs> it's Nepper. Nepper <laughs> is one of your I favorite I love characters. him. He's one of my favorite actors. Yeah. I loved him and I thought he was the only thing that saved the last season of Heroes. I think Teabag uh, was one of the most... I don't think he even pulled that off. Yeah, I don't no, think I didn't say he saved Heroes. I'm I said he honest, was one I, of the only reasons I worth watching. I barely remember him in Heroes Season 4. Okay, in the beginning... They nerfed him. The, the way they killed him was stupid. I don't even want to talk about that I don't think they show. killed him, did they? Yeah. I thought he went to jail. Mm, well, the way they defeated him was stupid. Okay, there you go. Yeah, they took his powers away, didn't they? Because, the, you know, Heroes <laughs> wouldn't kill anybody. Mm. Except the black the guy. the artist. Uh, Except the black and guy. And the black guy. Every black person they killed. Yeah, they killed all the black people. <laughs> yeah. No, Except for the little kid. Yeah, I was going to say, they didn't kill Jonathan Lipnicki. He was, he's mixed, first of all. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's, like, that's, like, that's what kept him alive. Half, yeah. of, him, half of him died. What was, what was the <laughs> actor's name, though? I don't know. Um, Damn it. I always want to say Corbin Taj. Blue? I want to say I just want to say Taj Maori, but that's totally not right. No, that's, that's the other definitely little, not the right. other little kid. It's but like it, he grew up to be Mark Griffin, though. Like uh, he always reminded me of Mark like, Griffin. I haven't seen. No, him yeah, he. T- I totally. I totally. You probably got that I, a lot, didn't you? I no, I actually. Um, I had a uh, back with my ex. We were debating about my long hair or whatnot. And she's like, "You can do it like that length," and where I pointed out, and she pointed oh. out to his hair length or whatnot. And he was to me an interesting character. They could have gone. He was further the smart in. guy from My Wife and Kids. Yeah, he was yep. a little mm-hmm. genius kid. <laughs> Bless you. Ugh. That's gross. Thank Nobody used that, that mic anymore. <laughs> 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 yeah, Nepper, he, he's he's not a savior of shows, but I think he's a good addition to this Arrow show. So you think he'll be a reoccurring character then? I want to see Robert Nepper. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, I'm going to cut you guys off again because I've always wanted to talk about this. I want to see Robert Nepper as, uh, on an HBO series. Is it just because you want to see his butt or something like that? (laughs) (laughs) You want to see him in Game of of Thrones, don't you? Well, I want to see him somewhere where he could actually, like, be vile. Like, do messed up things to people. That's disturbing. Well, I mean, because he's always been kind of nerfed. Like, he was, like, supposedly... So you want to see the rapings? (sighs) You just want to see him do his full... You want to see like... You want to see him to the full decapitating evil. and He's stuff like that. I don't, I, he doesn't have to rape people, but he can at least like cut, cut off an arm. Or... His 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 acting ability pushes that through so much, though, that he's capable of that type of thing that you believe him. I and mean, that's what an actor is supposed to do: make you believe that that character it makes does what a, they say. Makes him a better actor that yeah. he doesn't have to show you the full. That's extent. yeah, exactly. Yeah. I, I don't know you. why you want to see you back, the blood. You two. just want to see extra gore on top of what he says. Yeah. You just yeah. want him to star in a Quentin Tarantino film. Yeah. Perfect. Well, then there. Hook him up. Call him. You, you <laughs> got right. both their personal numbers. That's Definitely. true. <laughs> Introduce them to the each other. The podcast has been quite successful. We uh, got some... Uh, there's almost a movie. They're talking about casting. Four seasons in a movie? <laughs> yeah. They're going to have uh, Forrest Whitaker play Aaron Carter. That would never. <laughs> <laughs> that would never happen. You guys are like the same age. I'm thinking about... Forrest Whitaker is like 400 years old. How, like, how old are you? Years. I'm only 172. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's one of the elders. My closer, I'd probably have, uh, I don't know, like... Lawrence it. Fishburne. No. Why is everybody like old? Uh, <laughs> I'm only four years older than by the max of you people, right? Mufasa. Five? That's freaking. We, we have uh, a digital. We got a James Earl Jones. James Earl Jones. 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 Wow. <laughs> I would only accept Denzel Washington as an older oh, actor uh, to play Aaron Carter. Will Smith. I wouldn't want Will Smith to play me. No. I'd want Will Smith to play me. Will That's Smith would <laughs> You know who would play you? Zach Galifianakis. <laughs> yep. Yes. Yes. That's who would play you. I was going to go with Corey oh, Matthews, guys. but. I'm shaving, <laughs> the beard. Yeah, I'm shaving the beard tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you might as well keep it. Uh, you might as well keep it. They're doing good, though, to bring it back around the arrow. Mm-hmm. They're doing good. They've introduced superpowers now. So we've got that world in. And uh, I like it. It's it's gonna give him wins and awards. Interesting. You said they brought Solomon Grundy. In Solomon the Grundy mm-hmm. is in there. Yeah, uh, he'll be yeah. back next season, most likely. They alluded to it as yeah. if he's not just done. Because I mean, he gets beat, but you know. Speaking of superpowers and superhero shows, so I watched the newest episode of Shield or whatever the most recent Agents episode Shield, on uh-huh. whatever the most recent episode is on Hulu because I don't pay for cable. <laughs> mm. Um. But they're uh, they're really trying to. It feels like they're trying to push that superhero aspect to it. But they just don't want to pull the trigger. Like, so, are you caught up with it? No, I'm no. Not. So 
Yeah, two I episodes. This one. You you watched it. So like yeah. two you know two episodes ago they had the whole telekinesis, mm-hmm. which ended up not being telekinesis. What was I don't want to. I don't want to spoil. Okay, I don't want to okay, give spoilers. Right, it ended right. up not being. It was something else. It was science. It was. Uh, it was. It was loosely based on a great PlayStation Three game that just came out recently. Kind of <laughs> somewhat similar. <laughs> okay. <laughs> David okay. gets it. It was in okay. the trees. David gets and this, it. And this next one. And then the most recent one. Um, they started. It. It's kind of uh, alluding to. Um, uh, superhero su- uh, serum, the super soldier. Serum. Oh, super soldiers. <laughs> yeah. So it's kind of what they're kind of alluding to. Um. Although an imperfected form. All right. It. Now tell so, me if I'm wrong on this. It kind of seems like they're scared to show the rest of the Marvel world. They are. They that's are. What, that, and I, that's one of the things that I'm not enjoying about the show. Mm-hmm. I keep waiting for those moments where like they put in like little characters that I know from the comics mm-hmm. and I'm just not getting a lot of them. And that may be the difference between the Arrow series and the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. because Arrow just, seems to <laughs> just throw you mm-hmm. n- not even big names. No. Mm-hmm. Little small people. That's but what you'll, I want. But you'll know, hey, you know, that's Solomon Grundy. That's, you know, the Huntress. You know, excuse me. You'll know who those people are. I don't know why Marvel hasn't just you have a world. The problem with Marvel, though, is they're trying to integrate this TV show into their movie series. And they don't want to do too much in the show and then like have that have repercussions in the movies. Oh, so they're trying to keep everything they're trying to keep continuity continuity with everything? Yeah. That's mm. what they're trying to do. So they're playing it they're playing it that's safe, too. but they're almost playing it too safe. Uh, I, you know, I think we just gotta give it some time because look at you guys are only talking about uh, Arrow, Arrow in Hood. the second Hood. season. <laughs> yeah, Cape. <laughs> but I was talking about it in the first season. You mentioned it, but now you guys are really into because it because they're really r- ramping up the the, give, the give, list of characters. Give Shield some time, especially when they announce the new licenses that are going to be on the Netflix series. They're going to be a but Daredevil that's, you series. Know that's two years away from now. And see, my, so you're telling me I got to wait two years? My big thing is, well, no, they could do some ramp up stuff to gear exactly. towards that though on the show. How much ramp up? do they're we going need? There. They're going there. They're going there. How that's, much ramp point. ramp up do we need for? Uh, Prison inmate, a blind lawyer, and then a has been superhero. Wow! Thank you. Yeah. What a prick. And, and Thank you know, you, <laughs> like, who you, you know, man? like Luke Cage, Daredevil, Daredevil, and Jessica Jones. Yeah. Luke Cage is a prison inmate. Where do you think he got his power from? Oh, and this is the crown you want me no, to take? He was. Um, he signed up for a trial experiment with Tony Stark, Stark Industries. Oh, we're about to go. We're about to go blow for blow. What? We're gonna What's go going to go blow, right. blow. Well, It's a vortex of comic book knowledge well, while, happening while right are, now. While they are Googling this, um, I sure mean, the, the, big thing, <laughs> the big thing for me is, you know, I started watching, I watched, I got into Arrow late. I start, I watched it on Netflix. I didn't watch it as it was coming out week to week like I'm doing now with it. But I was hooked by the first three or four episodes. S.H.I.E.L.D., I'm watching it only purely still because I'm a Marvel fan. That's the only reason why it still got me watching it. That's why yeah. it's got my ratings on Hulu. I don't even know if they get ratings for it. I wonder I how long not. that's going to last, though, for <laughs> Marvel people. Like, I, yeah. Yeah, that can only get you so far before the story is just like, uh, I'm I, done with I it. I mean, I'm still waiting for those little tie-ins. I mean, they had the one episode where um, Victoria Hand was in there, mm-hmm. and that was like a nice little tie-in, a little nod to the comic books. I liked that. I wish they would do more like that. Well, it's, it's all up to it's all up to them, definitely. They're their own... You know, life is in their hands. They need to hurry up and push it forward. I don't think we need to wait two years, though, before we get any type of inkling that, oh, these other characters are there. And then, I don't know, S.H.I.E.L.D. just was never that interesting to me in the first place. They kind of just seemed like uh, red shirts in Star Trek. Where it's wow. like, yeah. that's going a little <laughs> I'm just saying, you, you got a whole bunch of superheroes. And then you got these little peons that kind of just, you know, we help out. We have our superstars, too, but... Mm. And David, uh, and he, I got bad news for you. I think Aaron might be right. Where did Luke might Kage be in an alternate timeline or something? Where because, did Luke uh, Kage get in powers? In prison, Lucas is consumed <laughs> by rage over Stryker's betrayal of his father and supposed death. Uh, then it looks like he becomes a target of Albert Billy Bob, some dick, uh, Billy Bob Thornton, prison guard who brutally beats, rapes him, yeah, beats him up. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Played by T Bank. There you go. <laughs> recruits Lucas as a volunteer for an experimental cell regeneration. Ex con, baby. Yeah. He's black. You should have known he was yeah, an ex con. Come on wow. now. Yeah. They <laughs> Oh, Wait, sorry, well, I didn't want to go there. <laughs> we got to remember, this is Marvel. Luke Cage came into origin. His origin story started what? He came in. I, I don't. I don't know when it. 60s. I saw his character with Froze. First and... appearance was in 1972. Yes, 72. I, I want to say Afro. I thought it was late 60s or early 70s. So, but yeah. So, I mean, that was kind of the stereotype. Yeah, that's I mean, kind of, hey. you know. 
there's a website called blacksuperheroes.com. Wow, when I look up Luke Cage, <laughs> oh, gosh, <laughs> when I look up Luke Cage, videos of Luke Cage, there's a couple of official like little trailer things, and then Twerk Solutions. The <laughs> twerking videos pop up. Does he? Uh, does he say a, "Sweet Christmas" that's, while he's twerking? That's weird. Yeah. I wonder why Luke Cage would be twerking. <laughs> Well, everybody, that has been our episode. Thank has you so that been much. it already? Yeah, we're all right. hitting the hour mark right here. So bit. thank you all for hanging out with us. This has been a thrilling turn of events. Uh, Aaron lost his crown. Uh, and then showed a little... Uh, you're looking for redemption in all the wrong places. What are you talking about? You think I can't take Gondo? I think next week is going to call for an all-comic book Oh wow! I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure out. that will be interesting. <laughs> Nate David is in this one. The gauntlet has been thrown down. God. I'm gonna go to Nerd Reactor and find their best comic book guy too. I thought yeah. we did. And we're gonna go. Well, we did, but that wasn't a comic book based question. That wasn't. All right. Yeah. All right. Cool. Actually, we'll give Mark <coughs> Precise his uh, revenge. How about that? Bring him on. All right, everybody. Thank you so much. Check us out on nerdreactor.com under the podcast tab. Uh, SoundCloud is where we host all the stuff. You can uh, get our RSS feed. Uh, iTunes, we need uh, some good ratings, if you would please do that. And let's get some feedback going, people. Get some feedback yeah. going. Tweet us at Video Game Bang. Tell your friends. Check us out on Tumblr, videogamebangbang.tumblr.com. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> that is run by D.A. Gondo. So if you want to interact with him, ask him some questions, get his phone number, all that kind of stuff, I'm sure he's willing to do. We'll discuss it. We'll discuss it. Why are you going to do private messages? Yeah, of course. Okay. Wrap it up. All right, everybody. Uh, Aaron, I liked your catchphrase. Why don't you say it again? Oh, for you yeah. want to talk about, for Corey, Gondo, and Mark, and Aaron, of course. I'll see you when I see you.